Now continuing with this, that, that took care of our first method by using the decimal factors. In this second video, we're going to do a continuation of the first where we're changing this not to decimals but to fractions entirely because we have three out of four that are fractions. So we're going to go converting these. Now before I begin talking about it, I just wanted to mention a couple of things. Like for instance, we see this is 7 over 10, which is actually, it's, it's said to be 7 tenths. And in this first problem, we have 4 tenths, right? So a quick reminder how to change 7 tenths to a decimal is simple. Since we see it's 7 tenths, it's 7 over 10, which is 7 tenths, we put the 7 in the tenths position. Now the tenths position is the first position after the decimal place. So we take the number and we place it in the tenths position. So the 7 lands exactly at 0 0.7. And this number here we have next to it is 7 hundredths, which is also another one that's easy to convert. Again, the hundredth position is both of these, right? The second is where the number begins, and if it's a two-digit number on top, we would put all two. If it's a three-digit number, we'd lay all three from here to the last first term here. So since this is just a seven, we put the number here, and we put placeholders in front of it. So it becomes 0 0.07, which we saw with long division. Now, getting back to these numbers, we see that 0 0.4 is actually 4 tenths. Now, if we write 4 tenths the same way we change 7 tenths, we know this is going to be 0 0.4. But if we change it to a fraction, then we, we would get 4 over 10, right? So here, this, four, this fourth position goes as the fraction numerator, and the tenth is just the bottom of it, right? So we'll rewrite every other number that's following it. And to see which one of these are bigger, we want to make all the bottom numbers the same. Now, if we're looking at 10, 5, 4, and 2, we know that these all have a common factor, right, or a common multiple, which we call the least common multiple, of 20, right? Because you can make 20 with 10. 2 times 10 gives us 20. 5 times 4 gives us 20. 4 times 5 gives us 20. And 2 times 10 gives us 20. So the least common multiple is 20. So to make each of these numbers 20, what do we multiply by? I just mentioned the multiples. So let's make all the denominators the same. And whatever we do to the denominator to make it 20, we do to the numerator. Now here we're multiplying this by 2, so we're going to multiply the top by 2, which gives us 8. Here we're multiplying this one by 4 to make 20, so we do the same to the top, and this gives us 12. We're doing the same with this by multiplying by 5, and the top also gets a 5, so that becomes 15. And the third one here we multiply by 10. So we do the same to the top, and we get... 10 over 20. Now, if we arrange these in order, we're just looking for the biggest number on the top and rearranging them. And actually, it's almost in perfect order. Just this 10 needs to move over here, right? Because it goes 8, 10, 12, 15, right? And if we rewrote these based on how they used to look, we know the 0 0.4 again is first. The second number we have here is the 10 over 20, which is the 1 half. The third number we have on this list is the 12 over 20, which was 3 fifths. And the fourth one we have here is the 15 over 20, which is the 3 quarters. And this gives us the same exact result we got before, right? 0 0.4, 1 half, 3 fifths, and 3 quarters. So this checks off correctly again. And again, the largest one is just 3 quarters in the front, the one in the lead. Now we can do the same thing with these, right? All of these have denominators already, and they're all fractions. But what they don't have is uh, the common multiple is the denominator, right? So what's the least common multiple for these numbers, right? Well, they, all these numbers can probably make 100, right? 20 times 5 is 100. 2 times 50 is 100. 10 times 10 is 100. And 100 times 1 is 100. So we know our least common multiple is 100. This is also our LCD, which is 100. So let's make that LCD work for every one. Here we're going to multiply the 7 over 20 by 5 and 5 on top and bottom, right? So 5 times 7, 35. And 5 times 20 is 100. There's our LCD. We're going to do this for each one of them. So 50 times 1 and 50 times 2 gives us 100, right? So 50 times 2, 50 times 1. Then 10 times 10 gives us 100. So 10 times 10, and then 10 times 7 is 70. And 100 times 1 gives us 100. So 1 times 7 is just 7. Now we arrange these in order, from smallest to largest. Start with the, the smallest fraction here, 7 over 100, 35 over 100. Then we have 50 over 100. 
and finally 70 over 100. And if we look back at which fraction was which, we know the 7 over 100 is the 7 over 100 is se uh, the 7 over 100. And the second fraction here is 35 over 100, which was actually this one. So they switch like this. The 50 moves here and the 70 moves here. So the 35 over 100 was actually the 7 over 20. The 50 over 100 was actually the 1 half. And the 7 over 10 is actually the 70 over 100. So here's our order. And again, the largest one is still 7 over 10. Same as before. All right? And these work just a little bit easier for those who like fractions more than decimals. All right?